Welcome to Not So New News, where we discover what is hidden in the newspapers from 100 years ago. Today's article comes from the town of Whitesburg and appeared in Letcher County's oldest newspaper, The Mountain Eagle. Volume 2, number 18, dated December 31st, 1908. This reading is from the writings done in 1908. These views are from that time period and do not necessarily reflect the modern views of Kentucky, Tennessee living, nor its narrator. However, we feel that all historical documents must be preserved for the future and strive not to change one word of the reading. However, if we feel that the readings are too controversial in political or religious standing, we will either silently put the article up for viewing or will direct everyone to where it can be found online. Thank you for your understanding. All advertisements are read from the Mountain Eagle in the year it was printed. Kentucky Tennessee Living does not endorse any product that is listed in the pages. However, for historical purposes they are read and kept intact. Williamsburg Institute This school opens January 5, 1909 in the new Recitation Building. Courses offered in normal work, telegraphy, and music. Also in regular preparatory and college work. Faculty one of the finest in the state. Two girls dormitories and one large dormitory for boys. Expenses low. Write to E.E. E. Wood, President, Williamsburg, Kentucky. The Blair Shootout in Oklahoma. Regarding the killing of Tom Kern by Joe Blair near Apache, Oklahoma, the Democrat published at Anadarko, the county seat of the county in which the two men lived, has the following to say, quote, Joseph Blair, a farmer living about four miles east and one mile south of Apache, is locked up in the county jail on a charge of murder, awaiting his preliminary hearing, which would be held Thursday. Blair is charged with the shooting and killing of Tom Kern, another farmer living on the farm adjoining Blair. The shooting taking place Tuesday evening near the homes of the two men about 6 o'clock. Immediately after the shooting, Blair went to Apache and surrendered himself to Deputy Sheriffs E.V. Barton and W.P. Smith, who brought him to Anadarko Wednesday morning. At the time, he surrendered. Blair did not know that he had fatally wounded Kern, the injured man living nearly four hours after the shooting. The shooting was caused by the trouble the two men had been having over stock. Blair had little to say in regard to the affair, but from what can be learned, it seems that Blair claimed Kern had been permitting his stock to get out and the animals straying over to the Blair farm and he would not take them up. Kern would then, it is said, take the stock away. The two men having a dispute each time over the matter. Tuesday, the two men met in Apache and had an argument over the matter. Blair claiming at the time he refused to argue and left Kern in the street. He then drove home. All the information Blair would give the officers was to the effect that after he had reached home in the evening, he was out on his place near the dividing line between the two farms when he saw Kern riding rapidly towards him on his horse. When the shooting took place, the officers could not learn whether Blair shot Kern while he was on his horse or whether Kern had dismounted and they had gotten into an argument is not known. Blair stated that after the shooting, he called to his hired hand and told him to, quote, take care of that fellow, unquote, meaning Kern. As to why he had his shotgun with which the shooting was done with him at the time, Blair made no statement, unquote. Simulation Diamonds. Attention is called to the ad of Bernardo Diamond Company. Chicago, Illinois, on page 4 of this issue, which is self-explanatory. Read it, write them, and mention the eagle. A New Cousin Dear Editor, I write for the first time. I am a little girl, 13 years old. My papa takes the eagle, and I'm nearly crazy to see it come. 
It seems to me I can never agree with Mary Staniford on the question of education, for I believe that girls should have as much education as boys. Maggie, I am much delighted with your letters. Trusting that all the cousins had a nice Christmas and wishing all a happy and prosperous new year, I beg to remain your little friend, Laura Bell Collins, Isom, Kentucky. Welcome you are, Laura, Editor. Robert Franklin married. It was evidently a pretty wedding last Saturday when Robert Franklin, son of Wilson Franklin of Seeley, led to the sacred altar Miss Polly A. Adams, the bright young daughter of I.J. Adams of Millstone. Each of the couple were somewhat under 20. We extend to them a wish that every joy may follow them through life. Thanks. Los Angeles, California, December 24th. Enclosed is one dollar for which please fly to me for a year. I cannot do without you, so come on. I hope all my friends back in dear old Letcher are well. Remember me to them. H.C. Frazier, 444 West San Fernando Street. Commissioner Sale. J.H. Frazier, Plaintiff versus R. O. Brashears, etc., defendant, and R. O. Brashears, plaintiff, versus J. H. Frazier, defendant, equity. By virtue of a judgment and order of sale of Letcher Circuit Court rendered its September term, 1908, and also by virtue of another judgment of said court rendered its November term, 1893, in the above styled action. I shall proceed to offer for sale to the highest and best bidder at public auction at Courthouse Door in Whitesburg, Kentucky on January 11, 1909 at 1 o'clock or thereabout on the credit of six months the following described property to wit. Said property lies in the town of Whitesburg, Kentucky and is bound on the north side by Main Street, on the west by Minerva Bashir's lot on the south by North Fork of Kentucky River, on the east by lots of J.P. Mars and J.H. Frazier. For the purchase price, the purchaser will be required to execute bond with the approved security, having the force and effect of a judgment, and a lien will be reserved on the property until all the purchase price is paid and bearing legal interest from date until paid. Bidders will be prepared to comply promptly with these terms. WHL CLCC We buy furs, hides, and wool. Feathers, tallows, beeswax, ginseng, golden seal, yellow root, may apples, wild ginger, etc. We are dealers established in 1856. Quote, over a half a century in Louisville, unquote and can do better for you than agents or commercial merchants. Reference any bank in Louisville. Write for weekly price list and shipping tags. M. Sable and Sons, 229 East Market Street, Louisville, Kentucky. Early Risers, the Famous Little Pills. Livery and Feed Stables, Sam Collins, Proprietor, Whitesburg, Kentucky. First class horses, good fare, rates reasonable, hitching sheds in connection. This concludes today's reading of the December 31st, 1908 Mountain Eagle. We at Kentucky Tennessee Living would like to thank you for your continued support as we bring to you the history of the Appalachian Mountains.